We're going to take a look here at graphing and compound inequalities. And a couple things you need to remember about and statements is you need two trues to include a number in the solution set. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, it has to do with logic. And the logic of AND works sort of like this. The statement that it says that the Philadelphia Phillies are a baseball team and the Philadelphia Flyers are a hockey team is a true statement because both pieces are true. If you were to say something to the effect that the Philadelphia Phillies are a baseball team and then the Philadelphia Flyers are a basketball team, that's a false statement because not both of them are true. You need two trues to make the entire statement true when you're dealing with an and statement. So let's graph uh, these compound inequalities that are see they're joined by and. The first one is x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and x is less than 3. So I'll do the first one in blue here and you'll see that x is greater than negative 2. Uh, I'm actually going to do that below the number line here. So it's a solid dot and then it's an arrow that goes to the right. And the next one I'll do it in red. And I'm also going to do that under the number line. I'm trying to use the lines on the paper here to help guide my way around and be organized. And it's going to be an open dot at 3. And for the numbers to be graphed that are less than 3, they're going to go to the right. Okay, now I need to do some analysis here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down a couple lines on the critical points. And what I'm going to do here is just label on the blue line if the numbers in that area are true or false. For instance, numbers over here are false for the blue statement. Numbers between negative 2 and 3 are true for the blue statement, and the ones to the right of 3 are true for the blue statement. Now for the red statement, to the left of negative 2 is true. To the left of 3 is true. And to the right of 3 are false. Okay, it's a real simple rule. If there's part of a line that's graphed there, it's true. If it's blank, it's false. So what we're saying is, numbers in that area are true or false for that statement. Okay, now following our rule for n where we need two trues, we see over here in this left region there's one true and one false, that's not good. In the middle there's two trues, and in the right there's one true and one false. So this makes our final answer just the middle section, so I'm going to move that part up so where we have that solid dot, this open dot, I'm going to use the ruler to connect the dots. And what we have there is the final answer, which is the numbers that are between negative 2 and 3 include the negative 2. Okay? So, again, the critical thing here was trying to find where there were two T's or two trues, a region where there's two trues, and because it's an and statement. Okay, let's move on to another example, which will apply the same steps and the same logic, but you're going to see the outcome is going to be a little bit different with this one. Okay, and that says G is greater than 1, and G is less than, or less than negative 3. Okay, so we'll do the first one again. G is greater than 1. I'll do it below the line. 
So g is greater than 1 means to start at 1, and then graph all the numbers to the right. Okay, and I'll do this one in red where it says g is less than negative 3, and that starts at negative 3 with an open dot, and then we graph all the numbers to the left. So again, I'm going to drop two vertical lines down for the critical points, and then just do some labeling. Okay, just with regard to the blue line, the numbers to the right of 1 are true, between negative 3 and 1 are false, and to the left, negative 3 are false. Then below that, we're going to see that less than negative 3 is true for red. Second statement, between negative 3 and 1 is false, and to the right of 1 is false. Now, the one thing here is we're looking for two trues. We're going to see that here to the far left, we don't have any. In the middle, we don't have any. And in the right, we don't have any. What I mean by that is we don't have any situations that show that there are two trues. So believe it or not, the answer to this is null set. If we sit back and reflect, you'll see when being asked to express numbers that are bigger than 1 and less than negative 3, it's impossible. You can't be both at the same time. That's why it makes sense that this is a null set problem. Okay, so let's move on to the next one where we're going to see it's y is greater than negative 2 and y is less than 3. Actually, just a quick change in that. I need to just change this symbol so I get a different type of example here. So it's going to be y is greater than negative 2 and y is greater than 3. So let's take a look here. For the y is greater than negative 2, we'll start at negative 2 with an open dot, and then we will draw an arrow to the right. They are all the numbers bigger than negative 2. And then here we're going to look at the numbers that are bigger than 3. So we're going to have an open dot again, and graph all the numbers to the right of that dot. Now here, Although the arrows are going the same way, we're going to do the same thing and apply that logic. I'll drop a couple vertical lines down through these critical points and make some quick labels here. This is a false area for the blue, a true area for the blue, a true area for the blue. Down here it's false for the red, false for the red, true for the red. And again, if we're going to be looking for two trues, we see that in the far left, two Fs, can't go in the can't be part of the answer. One true, one false in the middle can't be. But this area here where it's two trues is what we want to see. So what we're gonna do is make an open dot and kind of like move this area up to be the final answer. Let's say that what we have here is all the numbers to the right of that dot, because they're the numbers where there are two trues. So I hope this has been a help. Uh, feel free to watch a couple of times. Remember, it comes down to graph one, graph the other, label them with trues and falses, and then look for the area that has two trues, if there is any, and then move that above the line to be the final answer.